we're down here at the Bolsa Chica Inlet celebrating the 10th anniversary of the opening inlet with a surf contest. First ever surf contest here at the inlet and it's jamming at the jetty uh, for the benefit of the Bolsa Chica Conservancy. And it's a 60s contest, so the guys have to turn up with an original 60s board. It's a non-elimination format, like an expression session. So you surf twice and you get your best scored wave in each of the heats. So there's not a lot of stress, you just got to paddle out there, angle one of those old boards and hopefully get a big score. We've already had a perfect 10 today. So uh, Slater doesn't only get them, we get them too. This is a, sh this is a show of uh, the 60s style. And when people put it all together, off from takeoff to finish, they get the highest end of the scale. We used the excellent end of the scale, and we've, we've already saw a 10-point ride today, so uh, it looks exciting for the next round. Loader! Wow. Wow. It's amazing you can do that with that board. Look at it. Look at that. Those are all that heaviness pays off right there. Just keeps on going. That's a, that's that's in, that's in the good upper end of the scale there, guys. Yeah. If you don't surf in front of the judges, I mean, you don't get the scores pretty much because you want to stay in front of the scoring opportunities. And uh, a lot of times, guys don't think about that. Yeah, you don't even have, you don't even have to worry about those. It's only, they're only scoring one wave anyway. Nobody's going to object to us, us not putting a one on them to wipe it out. They don't want to see it anyway. Once the opening of the inlet created this phenomenal surf spot, that's very popular today with surfers, particularly the Longbrook crew. And, uh, and that's why this, uh, this particular event, jamming at the jetties, celebrating the 60s, is uh, so relevant to hold out here. A lot of history here. Doll's catering truck was up here. The hot water pipe used to spit out hot water from the uh, oil fields, cooling off all the uh, machinery. So it was nice and oily. And I remember getting into my mom's car after sitting under that oil and she goes, what's that smell? Out here and t uh, teaching the kids about our coastal resources are critical to ensuring the continued restoration and preservation of coastal resources like Bolsa Chica. Hey, Reynolds Orange, Drew Middleton Green, and John Killingsworth in white. But no pink. But no pink. <laughs> you know, I really appreciate what the Bolsa Chica Conservancy and the, the Amigos do for uh, for the wetlands. I've, I, I've been here for, you know, most of my life, and I know these wetlands didn't look like that 20 years ago. Hey.